Here's a deliciously subversive thought for you, stats are ruining enthusiast cars. We use them to rank the latest models, critique them, and deify them. Sometimes the numbers happen to align with a bunch of intangibles, and the car becomes transcendent, like the Ferrari 458 specially, a very special thing indeed. There are cars with great numbers and very little charisma, I've driven many of them. And then, there are the number-based narratives that mislead us. For example, the hoopla around a Mazda MX-5's horsepower, or the continuing lack of a Toyo Baru with a turbo, frustrating cross-talk about purest platforms better understood on track than on paper. The 2017 Aston Martin V12 Vantage S is flawed, old, and weak, so say the insidious numbers. A mechanical watch doesn't keep time as well as a quartz one, the numbers say. A tube amplifier produces an inferior sound, the numbers say. The way to fight back is to stop this slavish devotion to the stats and go wind the thing out on good roads and imperfect conditions, which is to my mind the ultimate test of a grand tour's competence. Southern California was rocked this winter by wild weather, much of the Angeles Crest Highway that dances along the spine of the San Gabriel Mountains was closed due to heavy snow. So much for Plan A some roadside rerouting led to some promising roads, so I pointed the Aston into the curbs. Herbs, here's a deliciously subversive thought for you, stats are ruining enthusiast cars. We use them to rank the latest models, critique them, and deify them. Sometimes the numbers happen to align with a bunch of intangibles, and the car becomes transcendent, like the Ferrari 458 specially, a very special thing indeed. There are cars with great numbers and very little charisma, I've driven many of them. And then, there are the number-based narratives that mislead us.